Hi everyone, so I'm back on the two flats, two six bed all on suite HMO. I'm currently in a loft space, as you can see, skylight. Uh, not a lot has happened here, just because of that crackle here, and this one over here. But we've had the building control and now they've agreed what we're going to do. I'll update you on that as we progress. It's basically, as we thought, jack it up, flitch plate over there. We're going to build up a support over here cut that off all the way to here and do a big dormer up from the ridge all the way back to that pearl in there so i'll turn the camera around now give you an update there's been loads of updates on this project so as i said i'm up in the loft and that was the issue we were talking about and we're going to jack that up put a flitch plate from there to there just getting designed but it's basically two big square plates one on the front, one on the rear, bolt holes are in the same position, you drill and bolt through. So that's what we're doing here, all this is currently get cleaned up. You'll see the first fix is in waiting for the door to go on so we can put a position on the ensuite. All of this will get ripped out and the floor has been tidy. So I'll take you down, so this will be bedroom 6 ensuite, I'll take you to the front now. Staircase stopping in. So that was one of the problems that we had, the staircase was existing. Obviously, we spoke to the building control, he's happy with them staircases as it is existing. There was a cost in for the stairs, but that will be used now to tie in the back wall where there's a crack, so that won't be no extra to the client. It's always about creating a win-win for the builder, the client and ourselves. So yeah, this is the bedroom five. So you come from the loft, which is up here. You come to the front, let's call this bedroom five. The doorway is getting put right pushed forward. There's a plug socket in there that can be for a little mini fridge if it needs to be. I'm going to put a worktop in here. Basically, the worktop is going to act as a desk with a chair under a little storage cupboard that they can store their dry food if they want to. That's why there's a high plug there. They can plug the laptop into the worktop. And that's it, I'm using the worktop instead of a desk just because it fits in. With the theme of the room it'll look nice there as well it's a wasted space otherwise because plug sockets plug sockets as i always say forward planning your bedrooms as you can imagine double bed in there bedside either side turning around i create these little drawings the rad as always under the window you've got your tails here that's going where the drawer is going to be and this is the ensuite the ensuite's formed, first fixes in, straight away you walk in the door, sink, sink waste, to the right hand side, you've got a toilet, toilet waste is hidden, so upstairs where I said first fix into the loft, that's a soil stack to the loft, it comes down here, joins onto the soil stack here, and then goes down again, so first fix, uh, Sorry, do second fix, sorry, on the showers. So showers in, all plumbed, and silicon's being done first. What we do is showers down, ch check the leaks, silicon, then we tile, then we secondary silicon. So you've got two silicon, uh, silicon barriers, maybe you call it. Well, I've seen a lot of people tiling, then shower tray, and then silicon, which is way totally wrong. I've seen others shower tile then silicon we always do a second silicon barrier just in case there's the mixer shall we all ceilings dropped extract it which will be in this void space that's one of the reasons that creates all this dropping ceilings we haven't had to do this all the insulation we haven't had to do this but for a long-term project for the clients it's going to be a long-term gauge not a quick flip this is going to be his long-term investment for him and his family. The stuff like this it creates that longevity. If there's any market changes, there's all council tax banding that seems to be happening at the moment, then there's nothing stopping this becoming a bed set. Council tax per banding, put a cuckoo hobbin as long as you've got the big enough room. But always forward think about market changes, whatever you're doing. That's why we do all this. And to be honest with you, dropping a seal is not a lot of money. Compared to getting your tradesman, you've got to, let's say, 
it was down below, but we've got the ceiling as well. You've got to pull up all the floorboards, you've got to drill through all the joists for the wiring and electrics. But now all they do is run their wire through one position. I'll show you downstairs, and then they can tack a big bunch of wires up, like up high in the drop ceiling. It's just speed. It's sort of win-win where you might spend more money on the trades because they're spending more time here, but you also might spend more money on dropping the ceiling. So it will be roughly round about the same. That's bedroom five, staircase. Give you a quick look at bedroom four. So bedroom four, I'll go in there quickly. Come on, mate, you're right on. We're going to put the bed here. It's been boardy, it's getting plastered now. Nice size bedroom. You walk in the bedroom there. Set of drawers here with your TV on. The walls go over here. There'll be a bedside. And I'm actually standing in where the bed will be. And that's the ensuite. It's getting skimmed as well. Takes your bedroom three. Same again. Probably our standard layout. Walk up the stairs. Straight ahead. Bedroom three. Door casings are going in. Partially boarded. This will get finished off boarded um, next couple of weeks. The reason why it's not been fully boarded is because we're taking a chimney out downstairs. Any movement downstairs may affect the upstairs. So we want to make sure that we can see and maintain any movement, any cracks above. So this is on, but the chimney below, literally under there, is getting taken down. So any movement or anything here, we'll see it amongst a lot of the brickwork up here. Just in case. So all the windows are getting changed. These are wooden old-fashioned single glass so they aren't safety glass the back garden is starting to be stripped out there was all overgrowth all over here it's getting taken away bit by bit it all taken out we're putting a brand new water main in our stop tap is in the alleyway down there we're going to be digging a trench out and you can't see but down the bottom here there is another brick building that's where the boiler will be so bedroom three this has got a bit of a smaller bedroom but it's got a bigger ensuite as well Look how tidy them pipe works are. So yeah, bedroom three, take it down the stairs. Take it to bedroom one first. Walk in the front of the building, turn right. All plasters are waiting. So this one here, we move the doorway. Not by a lot, let's say by a foot. A lot of people wouldn't do that because of the cost, but what we've created is a, an open wardrobe here. It's like a wardrobe pole in, an open wardrobe space. Because it's a bit of a tight room. It's not nowhere near the smallest room, but let me show you. So now the doorway is there, which was down there. So it would have left a bit of a nick and not a lot to do. So we pull the door forward. Now it's an open wardrobe, nice space. Saves space in the room as well. The bedroom will be, uh, sorry, the bed will be here. So you walk in the door, the bed will be just here. It's got the wardrobe already. We'll have a set of drawers over here. And there's the ensuite. Same again, door framed in. And as I stand upstairs, now I'm on the ground floor. All the ceilings have been dropped, but look at what can be done. So all the wiring, so the electric is here, the fuse board is high up on, by the front door, so access to everybody. That's why it comes through there in one hole. And all the wires all put together, all nicely knit. So you can imagine trying to pull all the floorboards up or drop the ceilings above and drilling all fresh holes for them, the time consumed or saved is probably the same price as the dropping the ceilings. So yeah, so there's the ensuite bedroom one. Same again, all the same, walk in, first fix is on for the shower, uh, first fix for the sink, shower to the right, that's in, it's getting aligned. There's your waste above, toilet waste. As I said, come from the loft, down from the first floor, now it's gone through into the kitchen, we box that in the kitchen. And the toilet will be here, but it'll come through, we've got a wall in the basement here, so the source that will go through, under, into the basement, Go along and join onto the sole stack over there. Bedroom one. I'll show you it quickly into the kitchen. Okay. 
Yeah, so I'll show the kitchen afterwards. So this is where we're gonna have a what make a laundry area, probably have a washer or fridges here. There's a big basement we can do dryers in as well. This is a new stud wall. So originally this was a big kitchen. The kitchen started roughly here, as you can see the battens, went along the wall to there, an old fashioned kitchen. So let me show you further back. So that is the old, very, very old fashioned doorway here. The one was bricked up, so we've gone and cut out the ex existing. So that's where it's going to be put back into. We've cut it out, replaced the brickwork above, put a concrete lintel in, and we've already measured for the new door. But this frame has been put in for the bedroom to downstairs rear. Okay, so it's going to be quite a big bedroom what it's done. But at the moment, we've got the bedroom door there. That's the chimney that we're taking out. And then we're going to put a new stud wall, similar to this one, all the way back. So we've got an ensuite. So let me just give you a feel for the size. So this chimney is getting taken out. It's took a few weeks to get the engineers out and get it calculated because here there's four brick walls. We've got to put four steels in, concrete pad stones, just to get it fixed. And you can see the problem that's currently moving above here. But yeah, that was the old existing door for the flat. There was a lady living here, and not in the best of house, and she couldn't get out anyway. So that's been bricked up. The old bathroom window has been bricked up. And we're going to put the wall roughly here. That will create a massive bedroom. The floor is going to get raised. So it's all on one level, because that's a step. Much no. So this is the kitchen here. That's where we said about sauce that comes through. It's all been boxed in now. The chimney over there is quite wide. The chimney here pretty narrow. So there isn't no point in taking the chimney out. The cost is not even worth it. So we've gone and boxed off. Made a nice square room. That allows to hide the soil stack. The doorway to get in is here. So what we're going to do is do a big wraparound kitchen. So I think the U-shape comes along all the way across that window. And it comes along to there. So a big U-shaped kitchen. Here we're going to do a breakfast bar. A bit like all the rest of our projects. TV plug on the wall. Breakfast bar roughly starting here and roughly ending there. We've got to allow for the opening door into the kitchen. So a big long breakfast bar, probably three or four stools, TV on the wall. What we've done, the window's also getting bricked up because of the worktop going around there.